The best free hit team for double game week 29 includes 15 doublers in your squad and a load of good players. Let's get into it. Good day, mate. I'm FPL Roo, and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another FPL video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the best free hit team for double game week 29. So there's a load of teams that are doubling. It is a big, big double game week, probably the biggest of the season and will be for um, probably the biggest the whole season, to be honest. Um, it does give you a chance to load up on them double game week players and then maybe leave out players that you want in future game weeks but don't want this week. Um, but anyway, before we get started, we'll... If you can, just smash a like on this video. It really helps out the channel. It's completely free too. Also, if you are new around here, please make sure you subscribe as um, yeah, it does help out the channel and allow me to make these videos on a more often basis. Um, I produce videos, two to three videos every single week that will help you climb the ranks and climb your mini leagues. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's have a look at the fixtures and have a look at the teams that will be doubling. So you've got Villa, Bournemouth, Brentford, Brighton. So just note on that Brighton one, they've got Brentford at home and Bournemouth away, which is a pretty good double game week. Chelsea with Villa at home and Liverpool at home, two home games. Again, pretty good double game week. Leicester with Palace away, uh, Villa at home. So that's pretty good too. Uh, Leeds, not great. Liverpool, not great. City, single game week. United, Newcastle and Brentford. So not bad um, double game week. Newcastle with Man United at home and West Ham away. Forest were a really good double game week, but how much do you trust their players? That's the question. So Wolves at home and Leeds away. And then West Ham with Southampton at home and Newcastle at home. But we'll quickly skip over um, to the draft. So this is how the team is. So it's completely blank at the moment. Um, the way we're going to be doing this is I'm using the budget of 101 million. So that's just how much I've got in my team. We'll probably have to do it for 100 million. So I'm sure everyone can afford this team. Um, I'll quickly move it over so you can see. And um, and yeah, anyway, we'll just we'll just get straight into it. So we'll go with the players that we we definitely want and we definitely know um, are the best players to, to have for this double game week. So Brighton have a really, really good double game week. So there's been a lot of talk um, about Brighton players and about Estupinan, who does play in Australia right before um, the double game week. So for me, you're going to want to go for someone that is definitely playing. And that, at the moment, looks like Jason Still. So uh, Brighton have two really, really good fixtures. So they have Brentford at home and Bournemouth away. So you really want to get someone from that Brighton defence and that 3.9 million, he's a great, great option. Um, as you're pretty confident he will play, you can probably go for someone like um, Everson. So for Leicester, um, 3.8 million. So he has started the last game and it does look like uh, Danny Ward is now um, out of the team. So Palace away and Villa at home, a really good fixture. Although Leicester haven't been great, oh, look at that, L's everywhere. Although they haven't been great since the World Cup and they haven't been keeping clean sheets, he's only going to be on your bench. So he'll only play if Steel doesn't um, doesn't basically start. So that's another great option for your team. So we'll just put him in. Anyway, so... Brighton, let's go back to Brighton now, as we know we want a load of Brighton players. Um, and we want a load of Brighton midfielders, if possible. So, with this, you've got, you can go for March, you can go Matoma, you can go McAllister. For me, I'm going to go Matoma and McAllister. Um, although I, I've got March in my team, I do feel like McAllister is a better option. Um, so let's have a look at Matoma first. So yeah, um, four returns in his last three games, which is really, really good for that price point, 5.5 million. Um, again, really good fixtures, Brentford at home, Bournemouth away. Same with McAllister, same fixtures, and he is on penalties. Um, his expected goals isn't that great in his last game against Palace. But um, in that West Ham game on game week 26, 1.2 expected goals 
um, which he did get, and and um, a zero point three expected assists. So he can hit them high numbers. Look at this Palace game um, in game week twenty three. So one point three two expected goals. So yeah, he he is ex- or mostly expected to score a goal. Um, and he is on penalties and he is on um, uh, corners and free kicks and stuff like that. So, yeah, really good option for me. And that's what you want in a double game. You want these players that can pick up points from set pieces. Anyway, we'll move on to another team that has an OK double game week. And you'll probably want to load up on a few of their players. So it is Manchester United. Um, again, for me, I would go for Luke Shaw. So you've got that attacking threat from him. They've got Newcastle away, Brentford at home. Although um, they are tough games, they both teams don't score a load of goals. So I do fancy Man United to keep a clean sheet in at least one of them. And with Luke Shaw, you're always um, hopeful of attacking returns. Um, next up, let's have a look at a few, a few forwards of who we can um, go for. So you're not really going to want Haaland as he only has a single game week. Watkins could be an option. So Chelsea away, Leicester away, which doesn't look that great on paper, but Watkins is on fire at the minute. So we'll probably just put him in for now and then see if we can get anyone else. So Havertz is another option that I like. Um, He is on penalties. He did get a goal uh, last time out and against Leicester. And Chelsea do have two home games, albeit one against Liverpool. Um, I do fancy them to do well in both of them home games. So let's go Havertz. And for the third striker spot, I'm going to go for Danny Ings. Um, bit of a random one, I know, um, with two, but he does have two home fixtures. He hasn't really performed, I'd say, if, if, if you want to pull it in a nice way, um, for West Ham. So he's got eight goals this season, which is not bad. But this is more of a punt, a chance for you to use him on your free hit, a chance for you to get a player that you would never normally get. Um, so that's why I've gone for, yeah, Danny Ings. Again, this is not set in stone. We can come back to it. Um, for midfielders, so you've got all the Arsenal boys with great, great fixtures. But for me, I'd rather load up on players that do have a double. And Bruno Fernandes is one that absolutely done so well for us in double game week 22. Um and double game week 20. So double game week 20, he got two goals. So he got 19 points in total, as you can see here. And then double game week 22, he got 12 points. So he's always getting a goal in these double game weeks, getting a penalty. And um he's done well for us in the past. So we'll get him in, Bruno Fernandez. And Man United do have again, like I said, not the best fixtures, but you've got to fancy them in to win both of them fixtures. Um next up. We'll try and fill out some of the defender spots. So we we're looking for players with a double game week. So Trippier could be an option, although they haven't been great defensively recently. So they haven't actually kept a clean sheet um, since game week 21, which is really bad for a team that literally kept so many in a row. So if you look at them points for Trippier, he is used to getting cheap clean sheets, but we'll put him in for now. Although at that price point, I'm not loving him. Um, but yeah, we'll put him in for now. So next up, we could go for a Villa defender. So we could go for Matty Cash. Um, again, Villa don't have the best um, defence, but um, they do the best fixture, sorry. But they have been looking a little more solid in defence recently, picking up three clean sheets in the last four games. Um, we'll put cash in, but again, we can revisit that at the end. Also, I like the look of Chelsea's defence. as They've been really, really strong. So I'd probably, as it's a free hit, I'd actually just try and try and go for the maximum output. So you want defenders that are going to score goals, that are going to um, get clean sheets. So James and Chilwell for me is my um, are my pick. So it's doubling up on the Chelsea defence, which is not, an ideal situation, but for now we'll leave it like that. Um, we'll have a quick look at the um other defenders. So so Perisic, no Dallo Cucurella, no. Okay, pretty happy with that, I think. And then we'll go for midfielders. 
so Rashford, although he is pulled out of the England squad, so he has he is yellow flagged. Um, Rashford's got to be in your team if he is fit, that is. So right now we've only got one spot left and we've got 16.2 million. So for me, I'd probably just try and I'd go for I actually go for Madison. Um Leicester have a good a good double game week. Um he did get an assist last time out. He's got Palace away and Villa at home. So this gives you an option to play five in midfield too. Um with the Brighton boys, two United and uh, Madison. Um but again it you have got a load of cash in your in in the bank. So you'd probably play Shaw, James and Chilwell. Um maybe still you'd play. But yeah, so as you're not you're not getting Haaland, you're not getting Kane, um, you're not getting any of the Arsenal boys as they don't have doubles. Um so this this is another thing to consider. Maybe it's actually not worth playing the free hit if you are thinking about it, as you're not you're not utilizing all your budget, but at the same time you're getting the cheaper players, which maybe some teams are not gonna want long term. So that's another thing to take into into account. Um, like you've got Trippier there, you've got a really good bench. Um, let's go back to let's go back to the the fixtures. So you're looking at yeah, Arsenal great fixture, but it's not a double. Um, Tony, you could go for, but again, you on your on your free hit, you wouldn't want to risk him getting suspended. Um, Isaac, you could go for. For me, I, I actually really like this team. <clears throat> um, let anyway, let me know what you think below. Um, if this, is there any way you think you could upgrade this team? I would probably play. I'd probably actually go for someone up front. Who can we go for? Let's have a quick look. So you want Brighton? You want Man United, which you've got three Man United, three Brighton. Um, let's quickly look back at the fixtures. Um, yeah, so you got Fulham. No, you got Leicester, Forest. So it's all cheap players. None of the well, you no, not Arsenal. You got Chelsea. Um, no City, no Spurs have a double game week, so you're really struggling to spend that budget. Um, so now you can really, what you can do is upgrade your defence. So we'll quickly move this back. So you can even go for, if you wanted to go, so Wolves and Leeds, you could go Forest, goalkeeper, but I really like still. Um, you could afford to... Yeah, to be honest, I'd, I'd stick with this team. Um, I'd go Ings to Isaac or Ings to Harry Kane, maybe. Ings to Harry Kane, if you wanted to play Harry Kane. Um, but that's how I'd go. I'd go um, still in goal, Shaw, James and Chilwell with Trippier and Cash on the bench. McAllister, Fernandez. Madison and Matoma, Rashford, and then up front I'd go Watkins and Havertz and then have Harry Kane on the bench. Uh, let me know below what you think of this free hit team. Have I left anyone out? Um, also, let me know if um, you think it's the good week to play the free hit. For me, having a look at this team, I am actually not far off this team. So it might be good to wildcard instead of free hitting in this team if you if you have both. If you don't, then fair enough. If you do, I if you don't have uh, any of the chips, then I'll just look at the key players. So if you most people have got Rashford, most people have got at least one Brighton mid, most most people have got Trippier, um, most people have a goalkeeper that's going to have a good um, fixture. So Chelsea goalkeeper, um, bought, uh, Brentford, um, uh, teams like that. So you got the double already. So for me, the only players that you're probably missing out on is Fernandez, maybe Madison, maybe a Chelsea defender. If you can get to that without playing a free hit, then I would definitely save that free hit. Um, game week 32 looks like a good chance to play it 
if you haven't if you've basically played your wild card already if not then you could dead end your team into game week 32 but anyway let me know below what you think um smash a like on this video on your way out and make sure you do subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you on the next one cheers